This theater is completely in the round, uh, which makes it unique in Las Vegas. It's the only one in Las Vegas. There's 2,086 seats. The nice thing about it with that many seats is the furthest seat away, which is where I'm sitting, is about 42 feet from the stage, which is the average length of an orchestra section anywhere in the other theaters in town. Uh, so it's intimate, yet we can host a lot of people. It's, it's all open view. There's no obstructive view. Every seat is a good seat. You're actually a part of the show as well, not just an, uh, an audience member. Center stage is a pool. The pool, there's 1.1 million gallons of water. The water is 89 degrees, always. There's a lot of moving parts in this water, and it's not just like an open swimming pool where you can just dive in and swim where you want. There's definitely specific areas that you can swim and areas that you can't swim. We have 18 scuba divers in the water uh, during the show at all times and they guide the performers into the places where they're supposed to go. They also move all the set pieces on, on and off stage uh, in the water. center lift that we have is an amazing feat. It comes 15 feet out of the water, it rotates, and it goes 22 feet into the water. So it's one piece. So we have hydraulics that move through the water and then they come up to the, to come up to the dry stage as well. So there's a lot of amazing technical aspects of the show. Some of it's the automation. We have a state-of-the-art automation system. It's just incredible. State-of-the-art, top of the line. We have a lot of different things that we can do. We have people come in and out at different speeds and rotate at different times and, and all those and those are just that's the scratch on the surface. But the behind the scenes of this show is really interesting. We have eighty-five technicians, which a lot of them are, are wardrobe technicians that help uh, there's dressers that help uh, dress the performers into their costumes. Wardrobe technicians who make quick repairs so that people can get back out and, and do the show, as well as the riggers, the automations, the carpenters, the fluid effects, all the other department lighting, the, the other departments we have. They all are as well as part of the show because they're open to the ceiling. So everybody that works here, with the exception of the, the, the divers in the pool, you actually could see if you were really looking hard enough. Um, they're up into the ceiling, and the ceiling is wide open from the audience. So, of course, we hide them really well, but if you're looking for them, you, you might spot them. And there's an aquatic stage manager, for lack of a better term, and that person is up there on the platform calling the shots in the water, giving cues. He has full conversations with the divers underwater, back and forth, just like you and I are talking now through a uh, dive con. And so he, the diver has a full face mask on and he just speaks back and forth. He also has the ability to make pages inside the water. So he can press a button and he can tell all the other divers, hey, this is happening without the audience or anyone else hearing. A typical performer will have anywhere from three to four costume changes a night and they have two sets of every costume. So we have upwards of 1,000 to 1,200 uh, costumes. There's 68 performers and seven live musicians in the show. With the 68 performers, there's about 14 countries that are represented from all over the world. So we, we definitely have a worldwide cast here.